Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel with Charles Morse. Now, what is going on with uh, Twitter uh, should be exciting for some people because What is, uh, happening is, uh, the, um, horrible CEO of, uh, Twitter, Elon Musk, is, uh, deciding to step down as CEO of Twitter, and, uh, the, uh, former, the former CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, is, uh, There's a live event that's going on during the time that I'm making this video, and, uh, this is, uh, some good, this is pretty good news for Twitter. Uh, pretty much a lot of people are pretty upset with Elon Musk for making, uh, you know, spreading lies on the platform and, you know, uh... You know, I would pretty much assume and would think that uh, Jack Dorsey and a lot of other people are talking to Elon Musk about, like, why did he allow Trump's account to be unbanned? Why did Elon Musk uh, ban, like, these idiot politicians on Twitter? Who, who, a lot of people know that, uh, people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Donald J. Trump, uh, you know, abuse their, uh, accounts and they, uh, use their accounts for spreading lies and a bunch of misinformation. And I, I believe this is becoming like a real problem with Twitter. Because nobody likes to, uh, you know, uh, hear a lot of tweets, especially from, uh, idiots who have obviously have no knowledge of, you know, democracy or, you know, any kind of knowledge of history. Say politician no brainers. If all they could do is just continue to spread lies on the Twitter platform, then obviously it's a big problem. I think Elon Musk being the CEO of Twitter is becoming like pretty much one of the big problems. I believe that uh, Elon Musk mishandled the platform, and Elon Musk is about you know. Having free speech on Twitter, meaning you could, um, during the time he was CEO, anybody could say whatever it was they wanted, truthful or untruthful. If they wanted to make up lies about a lot of stuff, there he could post that kind of stuff. And, you know, it was different during the time that Jack Dorsey was CEO of Twitter because all this misinformation and lies haven't been floating around because uh, let's be real here. Jack Dorsey was, in my view, probably one of the more uh, proper CEOs of Twitter. Meaning uh, Jack Dorsey blocked his uh, um, Jack Dorsey bl blocked the, uh, account of Donald J. Trump because of all this misinformation and stuff that was floating around, especially with COVID. You've got, uh, you had vaccine misinformation, you had election lies, you had all this, 
uh, voter fraud information being spread around and, you know, and some people on Twitter weren't going to tolerate that any longer until um, Elon Musk bought the platform for 24, or for um, 44 million and uh, he's uh, unblocked Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene and he uh, he has uh, uh, ultimately I have to say he's done some real big damage to the Twitter platform and Jack Dorsey and a bunch of other people are having a big talk with Elon Musk. And as I'm making this video, you can go check out um, Twitter slash Tesla. That is the live video that is, uh, you know, being played here. Live. It's the... Twitter slash Tesla. Elon Musk is there. Jack Dorsey is there. And a uh, few others are there as well. And he's having some pretty big talking to. So, yeah, that is, um, this is big. This is people talking to Elon Musk saying this. Hey, listen, we're not going to, like, uh, tolerate this anymore. All right, you need to step down from being the CEO of Twitter because all you're doing is you're just uh, allowing this free speech on Twitter where anybody can post uh, anything. It can be hateful. It can be um, completely offensive. And, you know... The big talk with Elon Musk is that, uh, listen here, you can't continue to keep on doing this because, uh, it's not good for, um, you know, business, and it's not good for everybody else to continue to use the platform and, you know, not, not be, you know, safe from getting racially attacked or, you know, cyberbullied or, you know, anything bad that you could possibly imagine that goes on on a social media site. Especially, um, the hate tweets, I gotta say, is probably one of the most big things that people, I believe, hate. I've heard uh, stories that people uh, make some very, very offensive uh, tweets on Twitter and it's racial, racial, racially offensive. Even uh, using, the, uh, using the most offensive... The most offensive words that, you know, most uh, black people would use. Not to be racist. But. Literally, there's a lot of stuff that goes on on that Twitter platform that. You know, a lot of people just don't even like. Now, if you look at Facebook, on the other hand. Mark Zuckerberg has uh, banned uh, Donald J. Trump's uh, Facebook account and you don't see a lot of uh, hate posts on Facebook and when you look at Mark Zuckerberg handling his uh, platform which is Facebook and then you look at Elon Musk I can say Mark Zuckerberg is uh, handling Facebook well. And, you know, it's, you know, 
uh, keeping your customers or whoever, um, you know, making them feel like they're safe on the platform and, you know, not allowing all this hate speech on Facebook and all this, um, these offensive posts, especially, um, COVID-19 misinformation, election lies on the 2020 election that was stolen, which people think, and, you know, Donald J. Trump did a good job at spreading all this misinformation, and, you know, any kind of misinformation, pretty much the Facebook team had enough with that, and Trump's, Donald J. Trump's Facebook account got banned, and anything that had to do with, you know, spreading a bunch of, uh, political lies and, you know, all that stuff, yeah, that had to come to an end. But when CEO of Twitter, Elon Musk, came around, that pretty much changed how the platform was where, you know, uh, from uh, not allowing all this free speech to be around on Twitter to where Elon Musk, when he took over the platform, Twitter, he allowed all this free speech to come back on, uh, even on banning Trump's account and Marjorie Taylor Greene's account. And that's where the uh, Twitter platform went downhill. It wasn't good business, honestly, because people were uh, uh, having a big problem with Elon Musk being a CEO of Twitter. And the election lies, you know, if, uh, let me just say this, if you don't want to be a good image to your platform or make it look good, it's going to make you look bad and the company look bad and, you know, there are like changes that need to be, that need to be done. So, um. As the as the uh, Twitter slash Tesla video is live, Elon Musk is having a big talking to about his m mishandling of the platform and that's where. That's where, when, after the big talk is done, Elon Musk is going to be uh, stepping down as being CEO of Twitter and somebody else is going to be taking over the platform. We don't know who. I don't know if Jack Dorsey would be able to take it back over and, you know, fix everything that Elon Musk has done to the platform and... Hopefully, this will make uh, Twitter a much safer platform for other people. Now, I'm not against Twitter or anything like that. I haven't been against Twitter in the beginnings. And I don't hate the Twitter platform. That, But whoever was running it was obviously doing a poor job handling the platform. And changes are going to be made once the big talk is over. Now that video is uh, Twitter versus Tesla. You can go check that one out. And I will leave you this is Charles Morris. And you know, Elon Musk is going to have it out. This is Charles Morris. Have a good day. I will see you all in my next video.